Greetings everybody, and today we're going to be talking about the top espresso machines, because coffee. For some people, it's just a hot beverage you drink in the morning. And for other people like myself, it is the lifeblood that makes every day that much less terrible. And if you're serious about brewing coffee at home, then you probably have got a burr grinder, a pour over coffee maker, a French press. But what's your espresso game like? And so today I'll be looking at the top three espresso machines and break them down by their features and benefits. So you get a chance to see which one of these might be the best choice for you based upon your particular situation. And as always, I'll include links to each of these down below so you can check for updated pricing and availability for any of these that you might be interested in. Also, if there are any special deals or discounts on any of these, I'll include that in the description as well. So if you're just looking for the best overall espresso machine, then look no further than the Breville Barista Touch because it is by far the most intuitive, user-friendly, reliable espresso machine that we got a chance to test. Because it takes quite a feat of technique to pull a perfect shot of espresso time after time. You need practice, patience, understanding of the science, but the Barista Touch significantly reduces the guesswork on all of those things. It's got an advanced digital temperature controller, which they call a PID, and the Barista Touch produced shot after shot of creamy, smooth, flavorful espresso. It was consistently of the same quality. Another key element is the Thermojet heating system, which allows you to get the machine ready in just three seconds. We were blown away by the touchscreen feature on the machine. It sets it apart for the competition. If you have no knowledge of coffee at all, you'll be able to pull an espresso shot within minutes. And all of that is done by simply touching the options on the LCD display. The machine will walk you through the ins and outs of making the perfect latte, espresso, cappuccino, Americano. And for the advanced drinkers out there, it gives you the option to save those specifications of how you like your desired drink. So if you want to pre-program the weight of the coffee or the grind size, or the time of the brewing, the temperature of the steam wand, even the texture of the steam milk, you can do all that by touching a button. Package comes with four filter baskets, including a single wall basket for the aficionados who want to hone their espresso skills. It comes with a razor that trimmed off any of the excess coffee grounds once it was tightly packed into the porta filter, and that made sure that every shot was exactly the same which require a more professional device to extract. Overall, the Barista Touch was the easiest machine to dial in as its user-friendly features allowed us to adjust the ground weight and the grind size with no difficult. And what made it really remarkable was how perfect it is for coffee drinkers who are different levels of espresso fluency. So if you're new to it or you've actually worked in a Starbucks, anything in between, they have tutorials on the touch screen that'll help you troubleshoot any problems that might occur. And if you are a professional drinker, it has the versatility and customization to maximize your creativity in pulling the perfect shot. So if you're just looking for the best espresso machine overall, then you might want to consider the Breville Barista Touch. The best value espresso machine that we tested was the Gaggia Classic Pro. And though it may not look as exciting as the Breville models that we tested, the Gaggia Classic Pro constantly pulled the best shots of espresso in our roundup. It's an upgrade from Gaggia's popular espresso machine, the Classic, including a three-way solenoid over pressure valve that helps discard dry coffee puck easily, which is the little ring of coffee that's left over in the porta filter after you've brewed your espresso. Speaking of the portafilter, it's chrome brass, it's 58 millimeters wide, and it's on par with the commercial grade portafilters, which may explain why I continuously pulled those really perfect shots of espresso time and again. The texture was so superior on them, they were so full bodied in flavor in every one of our taste tests. The Gaggia model was also the only machine that we tested that produced crema with that little leopard like speckles, which gave each shot its unique depth. The taste was pleasant. It had notes of caramel and cocoa, which indicated a really high quality coffee. Coffee, and the commercial grade steam wand frothed the milk into a velvety foam that helped us create some really, really sweet lattes. The machine also comes with three filter baskets, one pressurized basket for consistency, one single wall for creativity, and a pod basket for ESE pods, which is a specialty pod made by Nespresso. Although we're satisfied with its overall performance, the Gaggio isn't without any flaws. It took about five minutes to brew a double shot from start to finish, which is a few minutes longer than and some of the other machines out there. And it didn't have a PID system, which we mentioned earlier is the thermal system that allows it to heat up and monitor the temperature. And it took about 30 seconds to heat up. So you know, really no big deal there. 
It's not as user friendly as some of the models that we tested, but if your goal is to pull a perfect cafe quality shot time and again, then Degaji is definitely going to deliver there. So if you're just looking for the best value espresso machine on the market, then the Gagia Classic Pro likely would be a good option for you. The best espresso machine for beginners that we came across was the Breville Infuser. And when it comes to balancing convenience with affordability, the Breville Infuser is right smack dab in the middle because it provides the majority of Breville's most advanced features without costing you an arm and a leg and maybe another leg and another arm. Who knows? As long as you can drink the coffee, that's all that really matters. Like the Barista Touch, this model has a pre-infusion function that gives the coffee grounds that thorough low pressure wash before it pumps pressure through them to start extracting the oils beans. The PID heating system accurately controlled the water temperature to make sure that the brew had the best results. You can also adjust the temperature in increments of 4 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also programmable too, which allowed us to save our favorite coffee presets for easy brewing while we were testing it so that we knew that when we brewed a cup, it was consistent with what the cup was before and after. The analog pressure gauge can tell you whether the pressure has reached the required level and whether you're over or under extracting your coffee. And this specific feature made dialing in so much easier and took out the guesswork when we first started to test it. Ultimately, the infuser makes a great learning tool for beginners who just want to learn how to become an at-home barista, which is a fun little skill to have. So if you're just looking for the best espresso machine for beginners, then the Breville infuser is likely going to be a great choice for you. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate it. A good digital pat on the back feels oh so nice. And just a reminder that I'll include links to each of these products down below so you can check for updated pricing and availability for any of them that you might be interested in. Also, let me know any comments or questions you have. I always love getting to answer as many of those as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.